Like the Grammy's Little Gold Turntable or the Academy Awards' famous Gold Dude, the Juno Awards have their own iconic trophy. It's just undergone some changes over the years. Big ones. I cannot fully express my enthusiasm for the weird evolution of the actual Juno Awards, because unlike other major trophies, which are generally made of gilded metal, the Junos handed out in 1970 were designed to look like a metronome and were made of wood. Named after RPM Magazine, the RPM Goldleaf Awards were the precursor to the Junos, which took on their present name in 1974, which naturally meant a trophy redesign into this beast. Imagine one of those iconic photos of Beyonce holding an armful of Grammys, but instead it's Buck 65 and he's holding an armful of these and trying not to stab himself in the face. It's the Junos, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, it's the Junos, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I guess someone thought that wasn't cumbersome enough to get into after parties with, and so they actually made the Juno taller in 1978. I had to take this out of a trunk of a cab I was in because it wouldn't close. It's massive. From 84 to 89, things calmed down. These more modest Junos became the norm. This is Celine Dion's Juno. I don't know why they let me have it. Finally, we arrive at the Juno design that you basically know and love today. Designed by Shirley Efford, it features molten glass and this twisting musical staff, and was handed out from 2000 until 2010. And before they kick me off, I just want to say, this is for all those people that said that I couldn't vote for myself enough times to win. And here we are, actual today, with Elford's design engraved in glass. This thing is actually heavy as hell. And I'm gonna keep it. Sorry, Junos. What do you think? What's your favorite Juno design? What do you think the next iteration will look like? Subscribe to Juno TV for more Juno videos all year round. And thank you for watching the last three episodes of This Exists on Juno TV. I won!